Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. My name is Rayanne, and today we're going to be talking about The Beyond, which is a 1981 released movie directed by Lucio Fulci himself. So the movie does open with a bunch of crazy townsfolk coming to get a local artist whom they believe is some sort of witch, and they torture and kill him ultimately. Of course, this man does turn out to be a warlock, and these dummies accidentally opened one of the gateways to hell by ultim by by killing him, which is unfortunate. So, flash forward about 60 years ahead, and we meet Liza, who has inherited the hotel where the warlock was dispatched. And while she is renovating, getting ready to put the place back into working order, she somehow reactivates the gateway to hell and... Which, of course, brings forth the grotesque and terrifying Out of the Gateway. So, the, this movie is amazing. I'm just going to say that now. But I'll just jump into my likes. So, I love the practical effects. Of course, this is no secret. I'm a huge sucker for a good practical effect. And there were a lot of lingering shots on the effects as they're playing out, as they're happening which was amazing because it really made you appreciate them even if you're not a fan of the effects you had to appreciate how great they looked how much was put into them pretty much because you couldn't look at anything else which i was fine with i really really liked that uh the mystery and suspense throughout the movie was awesome they kind of do make you play a guessing game for a large part of this movie because there are some people that are telling Liza none of this is real you're hallucinating this you're making it up whereas there's a lot of other characters mainly the blind girl Emily who is telling her you know shit, shit's going down you need to watch out for this she's warning her but then there's also some things that Emily does that also makes you question is this really happening so that was I, I really liked that um my dislikes. So there's a particular scene where someone is rooting around in a really gross bathtub, like possibly even grosser than the bathtub in Gummo. And in the same scene, it leads to a particularly gross eye gouge scene. Ugh, I can't handle eye gouge scenes. I have a lot of eye problems. I have a chronic eye disease. So anything involving the eyeballs already kind of has me going but when it's like like I said the lingering shots of the practical effects you can't not see this and you can't unsee this the, uh, what I mean that's what the movie was going for so he did a good job with it I'll give him that I didn't enjoy it but the germaphobe in me and the the patient suffering from an eye disease was just like uh, first a dirty bathtub then you're gonna do this to me it's fine. So, also, um, to add to my neuroses, the fucking spider part, I could have done without that. The sounds that they make, I know spiders probably don't make sounds like that, but it was horrible, and I hated it, and it made me really itchy. Good job. Good job ruining my night. But that's, you know... It's a horror movie. You're supposed to feel very strong feelings about things. And I totally felt strong feelings that I don't like spiders or having my eyes poked or dirty, disgusting bathtubs. Anyways, I do give this movie a 3.5 out of 5. I just adore this movie. It is a solid story. It keeps you engaged. It keeps you really grossed out. It does have a a few jump scares, but nothing that I'm really going to complain about because there is good payoff from them. They're not just jump scares to be jump scares. This is the second in the trilogy of the, the Gates of Hell trilogy. That's very redundant. So sorry. So I'm also going to be doing the first installment and the third installment. I will hopefully have posted the first installment. I'm just recording these in a weird order because I wanted to kind of batch record things I suppose so anyways off topic I did watch this on Shutter, 
which is a streaming service that I highly recommend. They should probably cut me a check or something. Wink. Um, but it is available on Amazon as well in multi-formats. You could get a Blu-ray. You could get a DVD if you don't really have a preference. But I think you should totally check this movie out if you haven't. If you have watched this movie, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if the spider part ruined your life as much as it did mine. Um, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, I'd love to have you. Hit the notification bell for all of my content. Like the video if you did enjoy the video. And you can follow me on Facebook at Ray Animator Reviews and Twitter, Ray Animator Reviews. And I'm just going to keep thinking about that spider part, but go watch the beyond.